Hey everyone, James Lynch here, back on my YouTube channel doing a video on how to record FaceTime calls. This is something I haven't covered before, but it's something I do use uh, every day in my job. And a lot of people ask, you know, why would you want to record on FaceTime? Well, it's super convenient. If you know anyone who has a MacBook, who has an iPhone, everything's already set up. You can literally just call them and record the interview and it does it through video, which is really convenient. Now, all you need is you need a MacBook or a Mac Air. It doesn't really matter. An Apple product is kind of what I'm getting at here uh, because uh, FaceTime is patented by Apple, so you can't record these calls on a PC, at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, so what I actually ended up doing, just so I can record FaceTime interviews, is I ended up buying a old MacBook. This one's a early 2015 edition, 13-inch, uh, and it's worked great. Uh, you know, in a lot of cases, sometimes when I'm wanting to interview fighters, they don't want to set up Skype or they don't know how, and if they have an iPhone, it's just a simple, uh, you know, easy way to do the interview because it's already set up on their phone. And the other convenient thing about it is you don't need a phone number to do this. Uh, like I don't own an iPhone, I use a Samsung, but with this MacBook, it already has my Apple profile, which is set up through an email. So I'm already set up and ready to go. And if anyone wants to call me, they can actually just call my email address and it will come straight through this laptop. So that's another convenient part of this as well. Uh, the downside to recording on FaceTime is the frame rate is terrible. Um, I get anywhere from eight frames to 15 frames a second when I'm doing calls. But like I said, video uh, is better than no video and uh, this is why I will go this route sometime if I can't get Skype to work or like I said someone doesn't want to set it up it's way better using it using this than not using it uh, I don't know if there is a way to record 30 frames per second which is kind of the usual frame rate of what you see with most videos if you do know let me know in the comments but I certainly haven't figured out a way to do that so for now this is the best way to do it and I haven't had any issues with this software whatsoever so the software you want to be using for this is called Ecamm uh, call recorder for FaceTime it's about 40 bucks but worth every penny in my opinion because I do use this all the time. So after I install the Ecamm software, one of the things I like to do is actually record a separate uh, video for my feed and my audio, as opposed to what my guest is using. And what I mean by that is I'll go into QuickTime, uh, which is built into most MacBooks here, or you can just download it, it's free. And once you go into QuickTime, you actually have the option to record uh, your own feed. You can do a mo new mo movie recording. And so what I will do is I'll set that up with my uh, webcam, which by the way, the specs I'm using for my webcam is a Logitech 4K webcam. So I have that as its own feed so that way if anything happens with the interview if there's any corruption at least I'm recording one end of the conversation and I can salvage most of it so uh, as you can see the quality on this is pretty crystal clear and then for my audio I always record that on audacity I don't know what it is about these uh, programs when it comes to recording yourself but I find that the audio is so much better on audacity so I will record my audio source there as well and then the last and final step is just going to my contacts on FaceTime here and you'll see there is a call recorder menu that shows up so what you do is you just hit the video icon on the person you're going to call then click record and it's going to record that remotely so just to summarize you're going to have a video for yourself that's recording your feed you're going to have your own audio feed and then you're going to have uh, your guest and their audio being recorded using Ecamm Caller for FaceTime. So it's really easy. And then when you go into your editing software after you put all three things together. Now, um, in terms of editing the video, uh, I could probably do a separate video on that. But basically, if you use anything like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, uh, it's pretty easy to make the videos look split screen and put them beside each other. If you're not a stickler for quality, by the way, you can use Ecamm's uh, option to record both ends of the conversation. But like I said, the quality won't be as good on your end uh, when you're recording this because the frame rates just not as high so I would recommend recording a separate source but if you want to make things a little bit easier just go into the options for Ecamm uh, for FaceTime and you can actually give the option of doing just a regular split screen interview and that's it you're done and you're ready to go so that's it for today uh, talking about the Ecamm FaceTime call recorder let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you have any questions I'm more than happy to answer those as well and I just use this as an option for uh, you know let's say for some reason if the guest I'm interviewing doesn't want to set up Skype they don't know how to do it this is an easy alternative for recording local and like I said, the video quality is decent. It's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports and subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lynch on Sports. I'm James Lynch and I will see you next time.